guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I get this hairstyle and it's super super simple and I know the videos on top knots have been done a zillion and two times over. However, I was talking to Daily today and she's like, I really like your hair like that, it's super super cute. Um, I just took a pre-calc final. Dude, I'm like done with my junior year. I'm so freaking excited. I can't even handle it. Um, so I, the rest of the week I just have like my AP classes, um, which don't have finals because we took them before the AP. So I'm just like, I'm done. Like that was my last test. I had one final. Um, and it was like, oh, it was hard, but I'm done. I'm so happy. So anyway, I wanted to come home and film and play with my new camera. So I figured I would film you this tutorial. It's super easy and, um, takes like a minute tops. Um, I like a top knot, tops, <laughs> Okay, I spent way too much time around my math teacher who makes far too many puns. Um, it's just ingrained in me now. I don't know what to do. I'm becoming my father. Um, anyway, so I'll just give you a quick look at it. It's just super high and messy, but I really like it. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to scoot down a bit so you can see the top of my head. Um, and we're just going to begin by, you know, just taking your hair as you would have it normally. Um, mine's just what it was <laughs> earlier, um, before I put it up, so just kind of natural. A little bit crimpy because I had it up in a bun, but whatever. And you're just going to gather it into a simple ponytail. Now you want to do this, I mean, it's obviously up to you how high or how low you want it, but I like to put mine pretty high so that you can really see the bun because my problem with, like, updos is that I don't like to look bald and I feel like if I have my hair um, like towards the center of my head I'm gonna look bald so pull it up into a nice high ponytail and now if you feel like you're not particularly comfortable working with hair you're gonna want to secure it with a ponytail holder but I feel like that generally while it gives a like stronger hold it makes it so your bun is more structured and you really want this to be messy so now I'm just gonna twist it around and just kind of furl it up into a bun. And now what I do is I like to, while keeping the hair around the head tight, loosen up the top bun. And then I'm just gonna take a hair tie, which you should have readily available on your wrist, and tie it up. And then what I'm doing is I'm just playing around with it until I get a nice big bun. Now is the time when you're going to want, hold on, I'm gonna get a little lower. There you go, now you can really see. Okay, now is the time when you're gonna want to start placing it. So looking at where pieces look best and um, pinning it just using regular bobby pins, preferably in your hair color. Let's see how this focuses. Oh, it focuses so nicely. Oh, that makes me so happy. So we're gonna take our bobby pin. It's so nicely focused. And you're just gonna begin pinning pieces down. Now these are always going to come out the same sort of way, but I just like to kind of have it like unfold as like a little dome on the top of my head. Um, so you're just taking pieces and pinning them into place. And now that's like basically it. If you're not having a good hair day, um, or if your hair isn't going up, then you may have to retry this a couple times, but that was really easy for me today. Um, then I just like to go in and I kind of fold the hair in the back, just kind of fold it so it lies flat. And then I'm just taking bobby pins and kind of pinning that down. If you are talented, unlike me, you can like hide your bobby pins. And I kind of try to like hide them under the hair, but generally I don't worry too much about how it looks in the back just because it's kind of a messy look. And then the last step I do is I just kind of bring down some of the like baby hairs because I want a sort of messy, messy look. And that is the finished look. It was super, super easy. So I'm going to go back up, scoot back. And as you can see, that is a really, really easy and simple way to get a fun top knot. So as you can tell, that took like, what, two seconds? Um, great for mornings when you don't feel like doing anything. Great if you feel like you are in a rush or if you have a test and you just want your hair out of your face. It's super easy, looks super, super cute. And yeah, so that's the completed look. I hope. Also, I have so much time on my hands now that school is out, mostly because I have like finals days. So I got off at 1230, but I don't have finals to study for. So I'm just like free at noon. Um, 
So leave me lots of requests and I will start getting to them. I really am dying to play around with my new camera and do some fun tutorials and stuff. So if you want to leave me requests, that would be awesome. And yeah, so that's the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys.